back to my channel. Today I wanted to give you a review of pattern MP517 from McCall's. This is the hoodie on the front and this is my hoodie that I made. And the only thing that I did different than this pattern is I did not add elastic casing at the bottom, I wanted mine to be a little bit more loose. This is basically a twall or a muslin using just some fabric that I had. So do not pay attention to the fact that the zipper part in the front doesn't quite line up. It's a little bit askew. But if I wear it unzipped, it's okay. Um, pockets are at the side. They're very far in the back. I would like this a little bit better if it weren't so far back for me. It seems a little bit uncomfortable. Um, because I like my clothes to be functional, I don't want my phone to fall out of it if I wear this when I'm out shopping, but I want to be able to put my phone in, put the keys in, and it doesn't really come up a little, so when your hand is in it, it's very, very um, parallel to the floor, so whatever's in there isn't super secure in there. But that's me, I mean this is a sweatshirt, so it's probably fine. Um, the pattern went together super easy. If I was to make this pattern again, I think if I was to make this pattern again, I would eliminate. There is a, on the line drawing in the back, there is a faux yoke that goes across here and is carried through in the back, and so it's on both sides and you can see it on the inside seam. That's just simply a tuck in the fabric that um, I don't think it's necessary, especially for this that I'm using, maybe if you were to do color blocking. But it isn't a separate piece of pattern. It is the one piece and you take the tuck. So it's just purely decorative and it's just an extra step that I don't need in a shirt that's that simple. All in all, if I could eliminate that step from it, I would make it again. But I think I'm going to still keep my eye out for a better sweatshirt pattern. If any of you guys that are watching sew and you know of a sweatshirt pattern that maybe has a zipper pocket closures or something like that, Otherwise, I'm probably going to end up having to draft my own, so we'll see how that goes. Leave me some comments in the comments section below. Let me know what you think of my jacket and how it turned out. I have to tell you, this fabric, when I got it, is very... There was something that I was drawn to about it, and after I put it on this morning to take my son to school, I realized what it was. It's very bouncy. I don't know if you can see that. Got a nice, feels like a um, house coat material. But I mean, in a good way. Maybe I, I, it's just taken me a little bit of time to get used to. It would have made a cute summer dress, like a scuba knit skater dress. That would have been fun. Color blocking or something with the very, very, um, now I'm getting off topic. Guys, this was just supposed to be my review of this pattern. You let me know what you think. Hit the subscriber button. I'm going to leave a link over here to some other videos you might want to see as far as my sewing goes. And I will see you in my next video.
anybody else just ramble? I know I do. I have to say, it is a very comfortable coat. If I thought, I, I don't know what, the, what I'm thinking is wrong with it. Mm -hmm. That's my problem. That bothers me. 